Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Brendan Dickinson and today we're talking about Unreal Engine's licenses. Specifically, what are Unreal Engine licenses and which one do you need? I'm going to take a wild guess and say you probably want to be using the creator's license. Even though I think most people should be using the creator's license, I'll go ahead and explain the differences between these licenses and some cases where you might not want to use the creator's license. First off, what is an Unreal Engine license? Well, these licenses are just that, a license that you need to agree to in order to start using the Unreal Engine. You cannot start using the Unreal Engine without one of these licenses. With that being said, there are four different licenses available for Unreal. The creator's license, the publishing license, custom license, or the Unreal Enterprise program. So let's start with the creator's license. The creator's license is free to use and there are no royalties, which isn't the case for all of the licenses. With this license and all the other licenses, you get full access to all of the Unreal Engine features, all of its tools, and full source code access. You also get the entire Quixel Megascans library, access to their learning materials, and community support. This creator's license is not for game development or off-the-shelf interactive products. And you might be saying, well, why should I be using the creator's license then? I want to make games. Well, the creator's license is specifically for internal and free projects, custom applications, and linear content such as films and animation. It's one of the licenses you should use while learning Unreal. That leads us into the publishing license. The publishing license is almost identical to the creator's license, except this has a 5% royalty on money made after the first $1 million lifetime gross revenue of the product. What this means is that if you release a game or some other software product and it makes $100,000 a year, you wouldn't have to pay any royalties to Epic until after 10 years of revenue. Then you would have to start paying them 5% of whatever you make. This is a recent change they made about a year ago and I think it's fantastic. Previously, you would have had to pay 5% royalties on any revenue you made. However, now most people won't ever have to worry about these kinds of royalties. This is the license you should be using if you are publishing a game or interactive product for sale. For example, if I had made Filmatic in Unreal, I would have had to use at least the publishing license since even though it's not a game, it's still an interactive product for film pre-production and it's not an internal tool or custom application. This license is also fine for learning, but other than the royalties, this license is quite similar to the creator's, so either of these should work for most people. I think you should be using the creator's license while learning, and even if you start working on a game you plan to publish, you can easily change your license from creator's license to a publishing license at any time. You don't really need to worry about this until you are getting ready to start making money from your game or product. These last two licenses are not really gonna apply to most people, However, if you're a part of a bigger company or studio that's interested in using Unreal, then these may interest you. So let's talk about the custom license. Unfortunately, this isn't really a standard license that will be the same for everybody. This is a license that you can work on with Epic and negotiate royalty terms or something like a larger upfront payment to replace the royalties. Basically, this is an option if you think your company is going to be making lots of money with a product or game made with Unreal and you don't want to have to deal with the 5% royalties. Like the other licenses, this includes all Unreal Engine features, source code, Megascans library, learning materials, but you're also going to have premium support and options for private training directly from Epic themselves. Also, this custom license can be used with games and non-game applications. Lastly, there's the Unreal Enterprise program. This is a standard across the board license, unlike the custom license, and it's meant for larger companies as well. Instead of the 5% royalties, you could qualify for this license and instead be paying $1,500 per year per seat, which just means that you'll be needing to pay $1,500 per person per year working within the Unreal Engine. You'll get all the same benefits that you would with a custom license, but there's one significant difference. The Enterprise program is not meant for game development studios. It's meant for companies that are making non-game applications. For example, if you're publishing and selling an architectural software or something that helps hospitals simulate surgeries, these are the kinds of things that would fall under this enterprise license. So in summary, if you're just getting started and you're learning Unreal, or if you're planning to build something internally or for free, you should probably be using the creator's license. If you're ready to publish and start selling your games or products, then you should be using the publishing license. If you're part of a larger company making games, or if you would like some alternative payment terms instead of the 5% royalties, you can check out the custom license. If you're not making and selling games and you think the 
$1,500 per year per seat sounds better than the royalties, and you would like some premium support and possibly training, check out the Enterprise Program License. That about wraps it up for this. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll read them and do my best to answer them. As always, have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.